Welcome back, this is Sierra. So as you can see today, I'm dressed up for Halloween because that means I'm doing my Halloween haul. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned until after the intro. haul I just want to take a minute to kind of explain why this haul is so late because I know some of you guys have been messaging me and asking for it and um, before I even start I'm so sorry this haul is late so please forgive me and I'm gonna explain that right now if you don't want to hear my explanation and you just want to hear about and see the items that I got you can look right here and then you can jump to that part in the video all right, so let's make this quick. Um, if you're new here, um, hi, I'm Sierra, and I'm an American YouTuber living in Japan. I moved to Japan about six months ago, and before then, I was living in the U.S. And so um, I've been into Lush for about a little over two years now, something like that, maybe three years. I don't know. I think my first Christmas was 2015. Yeah, my first Lush Christmas was 2015, but I didn't make videos then, and so uh, also with Lush 2016. So all my videos that you're going to be able to link to up here are um, from 2017. Sorry about that. So as you guys have seen in some of my videos, I do like to order my Halloween and my Christmas products together because I can save on shipping. And also there are certain products I like to buy from the UK, and then there are certain products I like to buy in the country that I'm living in. Um, and sometimes I like to buy one of each in order to compare sizes and stuff. Um, but anyway, so what happened with this one is for some reason, I don't know if it's just because I'm in Japan and it takes a long time to ship, but I made my original order of my Halloween and Christmas items together on September 24th. Evidence up here. And it is currently... Saturday, the Saturday before Halloween, and so it is the 27th of October, and my items are still not here, and I contacted Lush UK, and they said because I just use Royal Mail, they can't really track the shipping, and so they said if they don't come by November 1st, to contact them again, and then they would figure out what to, would go on. So, um, what I'm going to do in this video is the two items from the Halloween range that I don't have, I'm just going to put pictures of up here, and talk about them really briefly. Without further ado, let's move on to the actual haul part. Um, usually in my videos what I do is I do bath bombs and then bubble bars and then other stuff and I'm going to follow that form, same format for this video. So let's get started. Alright, so first we're going to get into bath bombs. The first bath bomb that I actually don't have anymore because I already did a demo of it and probably by the time this video is up I'll be able to link the demo up here. Um, but here's a picture of it right here and it is the eyeball bath bomb. The eyeball bath bomb was the first bath bomb that I was really excited to try from this range because uh, hello it's new and it looks like an eyeball and it's really cool. Um, but when I first saw the eyeball bath bomb, I really wasn't that interested in it because it was just kind of white with an eye and it looked cool, but it didn't really look like it would be that interesting. And then when I first picked it up in the store and I smelt it, it didn't really smell anything. It kind of smelled like baby powder. As soon as it hits the water, the smell just like in your face and it smells really, really nice. But it's scented with lavender and also has a bit of rose in there. But um, the reason that I really liked it is not because of the scent necessarily. I actually wasn't a huge fan of the scent, but because of the show. It kind of like, I know this is a little bit morbid, but I mean, it's Halloween. When you put it into the bath water, it kind of looks sort of like a bleeding eyeball or something like that. I can't really describe it as anything else. It looks kind of like a zombie or some monster that ripped someone's eyeball out and threw it into the water. And it looks kind of like it's bleeding. And so it's really, really gross. But I thought it was really, really cool looking. And so as far as for presentation, I would give this bath from five stars. Moving on to my favorite bath bomb ever that they've ever come up with for Halloween. And it, I'm pretty sure if they didn't come up with it every Halloween, I'd probably cry. And that is the Lord of Misrule bath bomb. Um, Lord of Misrule bath bomb, as you guys probably have seen it, I don't even know when it came out. Like it's already been, it's been around the entire time I've been a Lushy, but um, Lord of Misrule bath bomb, you guys already know what it smells like. It is the Lord of Misrule scent and it is patchouli, black pepper, and goodness. And to me, this scent is like the epitome of what fall smells like. Back in the day, fall for me used to smell like pumpkin and cinnamon, but now this is what I think of when I think the smell of fall. And it's amazing. Oh, it's so good. And actually, this one made my top 10 last year because it, of how much it surprised me. So I'm going to set this down now, but I love this one. I'll put it a little bit closer so you guys can get a good look at it, even though I'm sure you guys have seen it before. Right here, for some reason in Lush Japan, they like to put tags on their products, which I think is interesting. I think it's maybe just to help the cashiers um, know exactly what it is because then they want to eliminate mistakes. Or maybe they just don't give them a ton of training and so they don't know all the bath bombs. But anyways, when I used my first bath bomb from Japan, I thought that it was with a plastic ring and 
ring and the like sticky paper and actually I noticed that the plastic ring kind of dissolved in the bath water. At least the plastic ring things are compostable which is exciting. I'm gonna put this down now because it's getting all over. Alright, so the next item I have to show you guys, this is my first time trying this item because before I just really wasn't interested in it because I thought it was kind of weird. And then also because um, for a while I thought I was allergic to propylene glycol, but it turns out I'm not. I'm actually only allergic to propylene glycol when it's made with petrol, and Luscious is not made with petrol, it's made from a vegetable base. So the item I'm talking about is this one, and this is the Monster Ball Bath Bomb. Um, it comes out almost every Halloween that I've been around for a Lushy, and it smells of Calacus. It smells so good. Ooh. I think it smells different this year. I don't know. Like I've smelt it in years past and I also have the Christmas item from last year that's the um, same scent as the Calactus, but I don't know. It almost smells like there's star anise in it or something. Alright, I'm gonna put this down now because I'm gonna, my nose is gonna get broken from all this. Alright. Okay, and the next item is not really a bath bomb, but it's kind of a bath bomb. Um, it's kind of in the middle and it is the Ectoplasm Jelly Bomb. Um, this came out a couple of years ago, I think, at the Lush Showcase. Um, it's purple, it has a ghost on it, and is, of course, the Ectoplasm scent. I think Ectoplasm is grapefruit and lime. It smells like it, but it also has a really, really sweet smell to it. I'm really excited to give this a try. Not only is it supposed to, like, bubble and look really cool and give a show like a bath bomb, but it leaves this really interesting jelly-like, um, stuff on the top of your bath uh, and you can play in it. Um, I don't know how long it's supposed to last. I've heard it's supposed to last just a few minutes. Um, but once you get a chance to demo this, you'll be able to see what it's supposed to look like. Or you can look on someone else's channel, but that's not fun. So I'm going to get around to that soon. Oh. Sorry. Moving on now, we're going to move on to bubble bars. And this year there's only two bubble bars. And I think last year there were three bubble bars, but um, these bubble bars, if you were on last year, they're nothing new, but I'm going to show them to you anyway. Yeah, so the first bubble bar I'm going to show you is this one, and um, this came out last year as well. It is the Sparkly Pumpkin Bubble Bar, and there's debate um, whether or not this is a Halloween product or a Christmas product because it comes out at Halloween every year, but then last year it was listed when, in my UK package as being from the Christmas range, so I don't know, but anyways, um, looks like this. It's orange and sparkly, and... <sighs> Smells delicious, it smells of lime, so I'm gonna give that a try again. Okay, put that down, wipe off the glitter. Look at this. It's almost as bad as the golden egg, almost. So if it wasn't leaving the house today, I would just rub it into my hair, but. All right, and then the last bubble bar I'm gonna show you, I actually only have half of this because I chose to not repurchase this bubble bar this year because I wasn't a huge fan of it, um, but I can show it to you anyway. So that is this one, it is the Bewitch bubble bar. It's a black cat. If I can find my old footage of it from my last haul, I'll put it up here so you guys can have a look at it. Um, but no promises, I don't know if I can find it. Um, but anyways, it is the Blackberry scent, which was discontinued a couple of years ago. I don't know. I don't know if it's the scent of this that sells really well or if it's just the um, fact that it's a black cat and it's really cute that it can sell. I'm going to go with the latter. Even though I'm not a big fan of this bath bomb, I guess the reason I didn't reuse it because it's just a black bubble bar. And I don't know, just black water to me, it looks really cool, but I never feel clean when I'm done with it. Right. Okay, and so that's the end of my bubble bars, and now I'm going to move on to the other stuff. I only have two more items to show you. Um, yeah, and so I'm going to start really quickly with my knot wrap. Um, they have a bunch of knot wraps that you could order. I just don't really use knot wraps around Halloween, but um, I actually got this one as a gift, and the knot wrap I decided to buy is this one. Is that even centered? As you can see by the name, it is the Meow knot wrap, and it is really cool. It's definitely big enough to wrap it around as a scarf from a gift. I don't know, I decided to get it to give it for actually for Christmas because a friend of mine really likes cats and she's probably watching and spoiling her Christmas, but it's your fault that you're watching my videos, Missy. Anyway, um, it has, I think it is four, no, it's the same cat face, but it's done in just different colors. And there's, it's a five by five. For some reason when I saw it, I thought the cats were going to be smaller or something. I think it's just because the picture was so small, but yeah, that's the really cool meow wrap. I don't know. Part of me is kind of wondering if I should keep it for myself. No, Sierra, you have to give it away. It was a gift. And I think these one, I don't actually know. Maybe not. I know that some of the knot wraps are made out of water bottles, but this one doesn't say on it anywhere anything about water bottles. Oh, here we go. Okay, it says um, organic cotton. So it is not recycled water bottles, but it's actually made of organic cotton, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Oh, there we go. So the last time I decided to buy, I actually do not have 
to show you guys because it's somewhere over the ocean and I don't know where it is. Hey, maybe it's in the ocean for all I know because maybe the boat that had my package on it sunk. I have no idea. But anyways, this item actually is not part of the official range, but it's always available from UK. And that item is the Lord of Misrule Shower Gel. Um, it is one of my favorites because again, it smells exactly the same as the Lord of Misrule Bath Bomb. Actually, that's not true. That's a lie. I feel like the shower gel is a little bit sweeter than the bath bomb, but I don't know if that's just because it's you get like more scent in your nose when you use it on all of your body. I don't know, but it's the same scent and it is again to me the smell of fall. Um, unfortunately, as I said before, it is not part of the range and I wasn't able to buy it from Japan and so I'll have to wait until sometime for it to arrive and I'm really sad. But anyways, um, that concludes the items that I have to show you. The two that I don't have are the Ectoplasm Shower Cream, which is up here in a picture. It smells just like the Jelly Bomb and it smells great, but I just didn't really need another shower gel because my collection is getting pretty big. And the other thing that I didn't buy was the Ghost in the Dark. So just because of the fact that, I don't know, I don't have any kids yet, and so I'm just really not interested in having a ghost shaped soap in my bathroom. But if you have kids, I can understand. Um, it smells like lemongrass, it looks really, really cool, and it's supposed to glow in the dark. I don't know if it actually does, but that's what I've heard. So anyways, um, that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys like this video, go ahead in the bottom and hit the like and the subscribe button so you get a notification every single time I post something new and exciting. I'm not going to make any promises, but I am going to try to get this edited and uploaded before Halloween. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!